by the manufacturers of the Zivco Edge 540. Now that's the same aircraft made famous by the Red Bull Air Race series. Although the Allianz Rebel 300 has a greater wingspan than the Edge, is slightly lighter in weight as well, and this improves the aircraft's energy retention and cornering ability. You can see Tony using both of these to great use. A lot of the stress is actually on the wings of this plane, which is amazingly designed to handle an ultimate load strength of 20 Gs. Powered by a highly modified Lycoming 540 cubic inch engine, that's nearly 8 liters of engine uh, using modern terminology. This engine generates more than 320 horsepower, that's more than 240,000 watts. It's a lot of power, and Tony uses all of it almost all the time throughout the display. Now remember, the Rebel 300 weighs only 550 kilograms. That is about half the weight, in fact, less than most cars. So if you imagine this, with that weight and the horsepower it has, uh, that's a very, very big combination. You can see that Tony puts this power to tremendous use, especially in the vertical climbs. A lot of the moves that Tony is performing for you right now are moves that most pilots do not want to encounter in their regular flight. Now, as you can see, the Rebel 300 gets a real workout from Tony. But rest assured, Tony is getting a workout as well. He's been known to pull 10G during this sequence and also known to push to over negative 5G. The multiple snap rolls and gyroscopic tumbles you see are very hard on the engine and on the aircraft. As you can imagine, maintenance is absolutely critical. Tony's life literally depends on it. Of course, there's also Tony's skill. Tony's been operating with an unlimited level of aerobatic approval since early 2010. Tony says that that approval comes with great responsibility. It takes perfection in every aspect of preparation, training, and performing. Ladies and gentlemen, you might want to give Tony a wave as he says goodbye in his Allianz Rebel 300.